guys welcome to Lodua in Turkana County today we're going to show you the top five things when to do when you're in Turkana County come with and I hope you enjoyed this video please remember to like comment subscribe and share and all that good stuff see you in the first destination so good morning guys <laughs> I'm coming to you straight from Lake Turkana. Look at that. Isn't that so beautiful? It's so, so, so beautiful out here. So, I want to tell you something interesting that I was told. This water here, right here, it used to be back there. You see where the palm trees? Palm trees, of course, they're not supposed to be growing inside the inside the, the lake. It used to be back there, back there. Then, uh, in 2020, the lake rev levels in the Rift Valley, they started rising. So all the lakes, Lake Nakuru, Lake Chikana, Lake Bogoria, all those lakes, they're in Kenya. So if you're not Kenyan, probably you don't know. The water levels started rising. So the water came from all the way there where you can see the palm trees to here I mean the beach was all the way there you could walk all the way there but now they say even this place is like really deep so you shouldn't uh, yeah you can't even see the you can't even see the um, the ground from here from here it like sinks in so they say it's like really deep so you shouldn't go there if you're like not a really good swimmer and this place is like a really really beautiful place I love it. I'm staying at a, a well, <laughs> they didn't pay me for marketing, so <laughs> I'm not going to, <laughs> I'm really not going to be giving them a shout out, but it's a really nice place. Uh, I want to show you what their houses look like. They're made in the form of manyatas, like that one and that one, but they do have a camping ground for us. Camps. Uh, and it was like a really wonderful experience. I loved it. Highly recommend. When you're sleeping, you hear the sounds of the waves and all that stuff. 100% recommend. So guys, we're here at the Christ Redeemer statue. I'm panting because it's a, it's a bit of a hike. <laughs> and I'm very unfit. This is a view of the pier. So beautiful. Absolutely stunning. Absolutely stunning. number two which is the national museums of kenya lodua and today i'm going to tell you about the lodua five let me know in the comment section below if you've ever heard of the lodua five i certainly hadn't until i came here today so get your pens and your paper ready it's going to be an interesting history lesson so come with me as we learn about the history of kenya 
So this right here was a place where the first president of Kenya, President Jomo Kenyatta, was put under house arrest for two years. Um, our guide told us that this area right here was where he used to eat when food was delivered to him. And because those days it used to be cold, this chimney was what was keeping him hot. Whenever he finished to eat, he would store his plates and dishes here and the Askaris would come and pick them up. Then this room right here used to be the visitation room. So if um, his wife or his family, only his family and were allowed to come visit him, so this is where they used to come see him. These ceilings are originally from that time. Everything here except the furniture, of course, was originally from that time. The mesh wire included then this room right here was his bedroom this is where he used to stay at that time the original hooks from that time the original coat hangers from that time the windows are actually quite high good ventilation and it did say that at that time these buildings were not there and you could see beautiful view of lake lake ah, river takwa <laughs> of river takwa <laughs> not lake trikara <laughs> so guys we moved from kenyatta's house to the other lodwa five houses so all the houses were built in the same design but there's something unique about the houses so house number one house number two house number three and house number four it's here but house number five is over there so far away from the other houses so of course me being me i had to ask why that one was so far away from the other houses well it turns out that this one was the house of um, jomo kenyatta and this one was the house of Bildad kagia it was rumored that the two were not getting along so his house was built away from the others and it was facing the opposite direction from the others because so, you can see as you can see this one it's facing down there but this one the entrance and the door they're facing to the other side interesting huh <laughs> the history they never teach you in school <laughs> so guys here we have the five toilets that were used by the lord war five what is unique about this toilet is the design that they were made in so here they had like a trench that was going in the middle and so one would use the toilet from here and then they would flush it from here as you can see there's a water pipe that was from there at that time originally from that time so they would flush it from the first toilet and then the water would come from the first toilet and it would wipe off all the <laughs> all the whatever from the first toilet all the way down so this was the outdoors bathroom but everybody also had their own bathroom in the own house and this was the laundry area so you are allowed to come to your laundry but it had to be at different times you're not allowed to be here together and you'd be under guard when you're doing your laundry so as you can see there's piping from that time only that it's a, it's not been maintained very well and this is where they would wash their clothes so that over there was built at Kagia this over here was the toilets and the washrooms so here we have a a pillar where they used to have the water tank this water tank is what would supply the water to the bathroom and the toilets so guys did you learn anything new today i definitely learned a lot of new things today i hope you did i hope you're enjoying this content i am very happy to bring it to you please remember to comment like share subscribe all that good stuff and let's keep learning about the history of our country so here we have another house that one kenyatta kagia is over there and this one was richard gay sorry paul gay this was uh paul gay's house paul gay's house was also facing the other side because it is rumored that they were very very close with um president kenyatta that's why his house was also built next to kenyatta's house 
then here we had Fred Kubai and over there we had Kongo Karumba so guys those were the Lodua 5 tell me if you know anything, anything about the Lodua 5 I never knew anything I never heard anything about the Lodua 5 the only thing I knew was the Capenguria 6 so the Capenguria 6 five of them were brought here but uh, Oneko he was taken to Banyani down in Voi interesting very very interesting Mama kama mtu ako Nairobi na nataka kununua unaweza mtumia? Naweza mtumia nifungie eh yenye anahitaji eh ufungie ile size zote ziko eh aweka na muweka kwa mjia eh alafu mimi napeleka kwa gari kwa parcel eh alafu anaongea na mimi eh mwenye ako na pande ya Nairobi yes. okay so what mama is saying na yeye kwa zimu mimi naweka vitu huko na nafika Nairobi na yeye anachukua okay so what mama is saying mama is saying that if you're in Nairobi or out other parts of Kenya and you want to buy you can just contact her she can send you the pictures for whatsapp mm -hmm. she can send you the pictures in whatsapp you can choose what you want and then she can send them to nairobi or which part of the country you are as a parcel yes. and then you can collect them from there okay. thank you so much to thank you so much to meshukuru she's explaining the history uh, behind her knowing how to make this beautiful beautiful work that you can see here a beautiful work of art so she's saying that traditionally the Turkana women used to wear this um, shangas shangas is Swahili for beads they used to wear themselves when they are getting married off to make themselves beautiful but now with modernization uh, they discovered that if you make these beautiful things that she's making you can sell them and make money to educate your kids and to pay your bills so now they got me inter more interested to doing this work and that's what she's doing. So Indo Kaziako Nafanya Kilasiku. So this is what she does every day for daily bread to pay um, school fees for her kids and for her daily bills. So Mama Mtu Akitaka Kununua Ikitu. 
na yuko londua sasa tutasaidika aje akitaka kununua hii kitu yako na yuko londua atasaidika aje sasa ndio anafanya hivi hii wana post wana picha na post karibu mara mingi nimeziuza kwa kwa kutuma ah sasa na post tunaona tu mtu anapenda una post so, wapi ndo mtu akitaka yani, kujua una post na weka tu either naweka kwa status ama kwa facebook status ya whatsapp yeah, yeah. okay so kwa hivyo utatupa uta, mtu mtu akiwa nairobi ama mali kwa nini sasa huwa anaona tu huwa na naenda na yeye tuna ana inbox huwa anaweka kwa inbox alafu sasa anionge na yeye ni ile one day alafu naona ana mwingine huwa mm. ananini ananitumia pesa okay